I will explain you the concept of metrics and dimensions. This will be helpful not only for Looker Studio, but any reporting tool or any kind of data analysis. I will start with metrics, and a metric is a number, a measurement. Think of sessions, impressions, time on page, uh, spend, engagements, whatever is expressed as a number is a metric. In this scorecard, I am only visualizing a metric. In the next chart, I am visualizing a metric sessions over time. Particularly, I am visualizing my sessions by month. When I say by, I am segmenting my data. I can segment by month, by day, by week. So the dimension or the way I segment my data is by month. In the next example, I am visualizing a pie chart where I break down my sessions by device category. As you can see, this is super simple. I simply need to choose a kind of chart like a time series, a scorecard, a map, and this chart has dimensions that I use to segment my data and numbers as metrics. I will do it with maps. If I go to maps, you will see that I am breaking down my sessions by country. And here with tables, what is the beauty of tables? I can visualize multiple metrics and dimensions in the same views unlike the other types of charts. So here in this table, I am visualizing by page title, my sessions and my conversions. And finally, let's see, or let's say I want to bring day of week, day of week is a dimension because I want to break my data, break down my data by day of week. I use also this dimension as metric. What will happen? I will click on edit and you will see that Looker Studio will convert dimensions into metrics by aggregating as count. So this is counting the number of days of week. So it is one in this case. That's why it is mostly an error. And that's why you want to make sure you understand the difference between metrics and dimensions on Looker Studio.